tomorrow all the students at One Davis Elementary School will need to get tested for COVID-19 to be able to attend class in person. Nearly 40 students and staff at the school have tested positive for COVID-19. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher is live at Syracuse Elementary School tonight with how the Test to Stay program is being activated. Lauren. Yeah, Kelly, so the Davis School District says this is one of the first elementary schools in the state to implement the test to stay program. And considering we're talking about elementary schools, so those are kids who are young, as young as five years old. There are parents who are wondering how this is going to go tomorrow. There's a first time for everything. And for Karsten, that's riding on his two wheeled Hot Wheels bike. Because he just learned how to ride it. He's quite proud of himself. On Tuesday, Carson will experience another first. Mom Kelly says she got the email from his school, Syracuse Elementary, a couple days ago with the announcement. They were just talking about, you know, the test to stay. And I'm like, test to stay what, you know? And then when they started talking about the positivity rate, then it kind of started to click. Because, I mean, honestly, I'd, that was the first I heard about it. And unfortunately, we're the first elementary school, I believe, in the state who's had to do this, not only first elementary school, but any school. Every single student at Syracuse Elementary School will need to undergo a rapid PCR test, the Davis School District says, because the COVID-19 case count here surpassed the state set threshold of 30. If a parent doesn't sign off or doesn't provide results from an outside test, then... Then their child will be treated like someone who has COVID and they're gonna be sent home. And with a 10-day quarantine requirement, says Chris Williams, School nurses hope to get all the tests knocked out in one day. We're going to do everything we can to make it as calm a uh, situation as possible. We're talking kindergartners, first graders who've never had this maybe before. I'm curious to see how they're going to get 1,500 kids within a seven hour span and, and out of a library, you know what I mean? While Kelly has questions about how Tuesday will go, at the very least. Nice. She plans to come sit by her kindergartner's side for Karsten's very first COVID-19 test. You know, in case he does get scared or whatnot, you know. They said it's a simple nose swab, but, you know, still. Yeah, so the Davis School District says when it comes to elementary school kids, they are letting parents have that option of coming to the school to be with their kids during the test. Now, the Davis School District also sent out a letter to everybody in the district telling them there are other schools close to that threshold. It is likely that they will have to implement tests to stay for those schools, urging parents to sign off on those tests right now so that everyone is prepared. Live in Syracuse, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.